We make decisions as parents about what we want to teach our kids, what we believe, and everyone is going to choose to do it in a different way in their family. We're choosing to do, you know, some particular topics more objectively, which I would have never in a million years thought that I would do. And so, you know, I find myself having conversations with my four-year-old and six-year-old saying, well, some people believe this and others believe this, but we don't really know. What do you think? And I'm like, who am I? (laughs) Um, Whereas the conversation in another family might just be, we believe this. We, our family believes this. Other people believe this, but this is what we believe, right? And so everyone's going to choose to do it differently. We're choosing a more kind of free thinking, um, objective approach. And that seems to be working for us for now. But I like to say, and I say this throughout Licensed to Parent, is that everyone has to find what works for them and their family. There's going to be different levels of independence that feel more comfortable than others. And then even within a family, kids' personalities, I mean, from the time they're babies, are just so drastically different um, or can be so drastically different. And there are going to be some kids that are ready for a certain level of responsibility at one age and others who maybe hit that age and aren't ready ready for that same level of responsibility. And so we need to figure out what's comfortable. So I always say, take what works and leave the rest. And we're just inundated with so much parenting advice. And so like, my hope is that people will just say, okay, this, this is what works for our family, or I like this part and I'm going to adjust it and use it in this way. But there, it's really just about skills to help our kids be successful in life. And in order for them to be successful, they need to be prepared for things like emergency scenarios and danger, you know, how to spot and avoid danger. But then also a lot of what we've been talking about is these interpersonal skills, the communication, persuasion, how to get what you want. I mean, those are important skills and it doesn't have to be in a manipulative way, right? (laughs) I know we're talking about espionage, but (laughs) um, you know, there's all these different skills and it's just about preparing our kids so that when they leave the nest, they're self-sufficient and and ready for whatever life throws at them. And that really comes from this idea when CIA officers are trained is that they are prepared for anything and that anything you encounter in training is going to be more difficult than what you encounter when you're out there completely on your own, you know, uh, running an operation by yourself, just you and the asset. You need to be able to think on your feet, think critically and operate autonomously. And so we want our kids to have that same confidence as well. 